The aim for us here with Sign of the Season is to create something that's completely accessible for everybody. And one, two, three, we win. So I've used my experience as a dance choreographer and also my experience as the child of deaf parents. So British Sign Language is my first language. And I've used both to create this Christmas carol that's both inclusive and feels good to dance, but is also accessible for people who can't sing, maybe, or can't hear. I think it's so easy to just keep doing things the way you've been doing them, but with the smallest changes, suddenly the world opens up to so many more people. The changes are so minimal, they're really fun. It's kind of like learning a fun dance routine. It means that young people who I either are deaf or young people who are nonverbal, autistic people, they can be included. This was actually quite like enlightening to me because I was like, oh my gosh, I've never heard this one before and to be able to do it in an inclusive way and have everyone be able to do it with me and dancing and just listening to the song and signing it made me feel more involved and I feel like it made everyone feel like they were a part of it, which I think is really important. The sign of the season project is to celebrate um, the opening of the new Sight and Sound Centre at Great Ormond Street Hospital, which has been opened with help from Premier Inn, who have donated 10 million plus um, to the cause, and also to help fundraise for Great Ormond Street Hospital. If you see someone like yourself, or someone that actually can communicate with you, it's like, oh my gosh. They understand, it's like you're not alone.